Hey there, this is Professor Shannon Gracie from Maricosta College. There were some questions about a certain trig equation with multiple angles, so let's check it out. So here was the problem. It was number 25 from the, what was it, calculus readiness assignment. Assignment 3, and this is the first part of uh, trig. And the actual problem is, actually, you know what, my bad, it's 27. The actual problem is 3 times root 3 times sine at 3x minus 3 times cosine at 3x is equal to 3 times root 3, and we're working on the interval from 0 to 2 pi, where 0 is inclusive and 2 pi is not inclusive. Now, remember, if you look at this, what this means is 0 is less than or equal to 1x, which is less than 2 pi. We're going around the unit circle three times, right? So if you triple this to, to get 3x to match what your, your angle is, you would have 0 is less than 3x is less, less than or equal to 3x is less than 6 pi. So th that this guy will be the interval we work with uh, once we get to that point. Okay, so now let's work on this bad boy. I have um, a sine function to the 1 power and a cosine function to the 1 power. I can't use any of the Pythagorean identities unless I square both sides. So we want to get one trig function on the other side. Um, so here we go. I'm going to rewrite this as 3 root 3 times sine at 3x is equal to 3 times cosine at 3x plus 3 root 3. Good so far? Awesome. Squaring both sides, we will have 9 times 3 times sine squared at 3x is equal to, so we're going to expand this binomial sum, so we'll get 9 cosine squared 3x, and then we're doubling the product of the end, so that'd be 2 times 3 cosine 3x times 3 root 3, and then, you know what, I'll write this one on the side, uh, that would be plus 9 times 3 when we square out the 3 root 3. And then this interval would be 0 less than or equal to 3x less than 6 pi rewriting. Ah, I write too big, huh? This would be 0 less than or equal to 3x's less than 6 pi's. Okay, so continuing on with the problem at hand, we would have um, 12 times sine squared at 3x is equal to 9 times cosine squared at 3x, and then plus 18 root 3 times cosine at 3x plus, oops, sorry, this is 27, <laughs> making up my own math here, plus 27. Now, um, here, do you see that we can definitely divide a 9 out of all these terms, right? So let's do that. So this is divided by 9, and then each one of these will be divided by 9. So what we'll have is 3 
Now, instead of sine squared at 3x, I'm going to write this as 1 minus cosine squared at 3x. And then that's going to equal to cosine squared at 3x plus 2 root 3 times cosine at 3x plus 3. Okay, so just in case you're mystified, sine squared at 3x using the Pythagorean identity can be rewritten as 1 minus cosine squared at 3x. The Pythagorean identities are identities you need to know for calculus. So this will be 3 minus 3 cosine squared at 3x is equal to cosine squared at 3x plus 2 root 3 cosine at 3x plus 3. Okay, so now when we get 0 on the left side, we'll end up with 4 times cosine squared at 3x plus 2 root 3 times cosine at 3x. And then, oh, that's nice, the 3 is 0 out, so we're good to go. Factoring out. Let's a 2 times cosine at 3x will be left with 2 times cosine at 3x and then plus root 3. So 2 cosine times cosine at 3x is going to be 0 or 2 times cosine at 3x plus root 3 is 0. And then that gives us cosine at 3x is 0. Or, with a little algebra, cosine at 3x is negative root 3 over 2. Okay, so far? All right. Now, we're going to have to be pretty careful here because when you square both sides of an equation, a lot of times you can get extraneous answers. So we're going to we're going to um, check each one of them in that first loop around. So remember, we have to go three times around this the unit circle. So here we go. The cosine function the cosine function has an output of zero at um, at what angle inputs? Good, at pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2, right? So here we go. 3x would be pi over 2, 3x could be 3 pi over 2. Now before I go and do all this work by going around multiple times, all right, I'm going to test each of these to make sure they work. So x for this guy would be pi over 6 once I multiply both sides by a third or divide by 3, however you think about it. This one would be x is, what, pi over 2? So let's see how that went. Going to our original, if we plug this in, I'm just going to do it in my head. We got pi over 6 and pi over 2. So if I plug in pi over 6, I'd get sine at pi over 2, which is 1. Pi over 6 here would give me cosine at pi over 2, which is 0. So this would be 3 root 3 times, it would just be 3 root 3 equals 3 root 3. So that is verified. Now let's try pi over 2. If I plug in pi over 2, I'd get sine at 3 pi over 2, which is negative 1. So that would turn it to negative 3 root 3. Cosine at 3 pi over 2. So that would give me 0. And so what we'd end up with is negative 3 root 3 is equal to 3 root 3. Does that work? No. That's extraneous. So I'm glad that we did this because this guy ends up being extraneous, which means we only need to do the next three rounds using um, the first answer. 
So 3x, when I add 2 pi to pi over 2, would be 5 pi over 2. And then the, thir the third time around, we would get 3x is 9 pi over 2. So here, this ends up being x is 5 pi over 6. And this one's going to give us a result of x is, what's that, 9 pi over 6, which is 3 pi over 2. Good so far? So those answers will stand. Now, similarly here, what is the reference angle uh, for when the cosine function has an output of, of uh, root 3 over 2? Good, pi over 6. The cosine function is negative in quadrants. You got it, 2 and 3. So here we go. 3x would be equal to... 5 pi over 6, or 3x would be equal to 7 pi over 6. So let's, again, check this on the first time around so we don't end up doing a bunch of extra work. So this would end up being, whoops, that x is equal to 5 pi over 18. And this would give us that x is equal to 7 pi over 18, and we're going to check these in the original, all right? Okay, so let's check these guys out and see how it goes. So if I enter, um, if I do 5 pi over 18, let's get that original equation here. I'm going to just go ahead and copy it. You could do it on your calculator as well. And let's do some scratch work down below. Add another page for our scratch. And we'll get um, paste. Okay, so here we go. Let we're checking we're checking x equal to 5 pi over 18. So, here we go. We would have uh, 3 root 3 times sine at 3 times 5 pi over 18. minus 3 times cosine at 3 times 5 pi over 18. And we want to know, is that equal to 3 root 3? So let's check it out. This would give us 3 root 3. Do you see that this becomes 5 pi over 6? So the sine function at 5 pi over 6 is positive one-half, you have that output, minus three times the cosine function at, again, this would divide out, so we would end up getting, sorry, take this cosine out, we'd end up getting negative root three over two, and we want to know, is this equal to three root three? And it certainly is. We would get 6 root 3 over 2, which is 3 root 3. And that equals, that does indeed equal 3 root 3. So that solution is okay, which means every multiple of it will be okay. So coming back here, we're good with that. Um, and then now we'll, let's check 7 pi over 18. So checking. 7 pi over 18. 
again, we would have 3 root 3 times sine at, do you guys see this is just going to be um, 7 pi over 6 for the same reasons as last time, the way it simplified, minus 3 times cosine at 7 pi over 6. And we want to know, is this equal to 3 root 3? Well, this guy is going to end up being 3 root 3 times negative a half minus 3 times negative root 3 over 2. We want to know, is this equal to 3 root 3? So this would be 3 root, negative 3 root 3 over 2 plus 3 root 3 over 2, and that's 0. So that's not equal to 3 root 3. So this is, again, extraneous. So we won't have to get any multiples of this guy. Is extraneous. Well, this is kind of a mean problem, wasn't it? All right, so let's get the last two results. We would have 3x is equal to, uh, let's see, 17 pi over 6, which gives us x is equal to 17 pi over 18. And then 3x would equal to 29 pi over 6. And x is equal to 29 pi over 18. All right, so at the end of the day, the answers that worked out were pi over 6, 5 pi over 6, 3 pi over 2, and then coming to the other side, 5 pi over 18, 17 pi over 18, and 29 pi over 18. And finally, <laughs> we're done. Sorry that one was so mean. Okay, have a fabulous weekend.